Want to get more leads from your marketing? Build better conversion funnels. In this video, we'll break down seven tips on how. Hi, I'm JB with Marketing 360, and we help small businesses grow with our marketing and design talent technology through our number one marketing platform, Marketing 360. We call marketing and design mad, and we love mad. And hopefully these videos will help you fall in love with mad too. So make sure to follow us to learn tips, tricks, and strategies to grow your business and fuel your brand. So here's the deal. You should have a really solid conversion funnel for every single product and service that you sell and that you offer. The thing is, a lot of brands drive traffic to one main website home page or one main category page and they don't really theme it out all the way down to the individual product or service level and that's what really needs to happen to find success. So let's talk about the conversion funnel and how you can build a stronger conversion funnel for your brand. Seven tips on how. Let's get started now. So tip number one, don't try to do everything at once. Try to just prioritize your best products and services and start there. Just start with one conversion funnel. Get that that right and then build one for the next product or service that you offer and so that's key and what you're going to want to do thinking of this in terms of the beginning phases is where do you want to be visible in the first place to get people into the funnel so tip number one also has to do with visibility and where does that make sense think about where your customers live where are they spending their time whether it's on Facebook or Google or Instagram what are the things they're searching what are the type of people they are and how do you get there that's the first thing you have to be visible so that you can get people aware of you so they can enter into your conversion funnel in the first place so tip one prioritize your best products and services and then think about where you need to be visible to get people started into the funnel. Tip number two is you don't want waste going into your funnel. If waste is going into your funnel, it's not going to perform well. Maybe it doesn't mean your funnel is bad. It just means that the traffic going into it's bad. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to focus on wherever you're visible, what do those people want to see to enter your funnel? Make it very clear, whether it's a call to action that's very concise and very appropriate for that relevant audience so that they enter into your funnel and make it so clear that they don't enter if it doesn't make sense for them. Um, for example, if you're offering something for free, that might get people into your funnel, but maybe it's not the traffic you're looking for. Maybe you want to say it's free, but it's a seven day trial, or there's an additional charge for something just to prevent wasted clicks. You don't want wasted traffic going into your funnel. So think about what your audience really wants at the end of the day, give that to them, and make sure that you deliver on that in your funnel and you'll see a higher conversion rate. So tip three is where it really starts with the conversion funnel, and that's your landing page. So when somebody sees you on your Facebook or Instagram or where you want to be visible, they see that call to action you've really thought hard about, it's enticed them to click into your funnel, this is when they enter your funnel and that's called a landing page. Your landing page needs to be concise and make sure that it lines up with what they saw on the advertising copy. If the advertising copy matches the, the landing page copy, you're going to have a higher conversion rate. Give them what they want. Think about what they want at the end of the day from you as a brand and give that to them on the landing page above the fold meaning they don't need to scroll down whether on their computer or on their phone they can see that content above the fold right there and they can move further down the path of your conversion funnel which is called a call to action they click to the next step tip number four on your landing page with the call to action include some uh, social proof and some trust badges this is gonna build their confidence maybe people are hesitant to take that next step to go to that next step of your conversion funnel and seeing things like your number of ratings and reviews and how high those are maybe some of your affiliations and awards and accolades you've won over the years how many followers you have on social media all those little things subliminally build trust in our mind to get the user to take that next step and move further down your conversion funnel path tip number five is to make sure that you retarget the people that enter your funnel not everybody's gonna go into your funnel and reach the end which is becoming a lead or making an online purchase you know and ending up with the goal that you want them to end up with in the funnel they're not gonna all do that when they enter the funnel and that doesn't mean it's bad traffic it just means that they got interrupted maybe they're not ready to buy right now or call you right now they are just in research mode maybe they were driving down the road at a stoplight when they searched then they moved on then they forgot about it two days later they remembered there's a million different reasons as to why they don't call you or fill out the form so the key is to stay in front of them with retargeting so make sure that you're tracking everybody that goes into your funnel and you're building targeted relevant retargeting campaigns that show them follow-up advertisements on different social sites and across the internet online as they browse the internet that are renting space in their mind so when they are ready to make that decision to buy, they think of you first. 
tip six, after somebody converts through your conversion funnel, they get to the end, success, right? Make sure that you follow up with them. Enter them into your CRM database. Make sure that you follow up with automated email campaigns and continue working with those customers to increase their lifetime value. If you can get every customer to buy from you just one more time, think of what that does to your revenue. And if you have leads coming in, if you can close just 10% more of those leads into accounts, think of what that does to your revenue. And that comes down to marketing automation and using tools like a CRM and email marketing automation to generate that nurturing cycle that you need to drive more revenue down the road. Tip number seven, make sure to follow up after somebody does become a customer and thank them. And after you complete the work or you ship them the product, ask for a review. If you can get every customer to send a review in about your brand, that's a positive experience. That's going to bring you more business in the future. And if uh, they can send a referral, that's even better. Think of every account as a twofer. If you could make every account and every customer a twofer, meaning they bring you one more, that doubles your revenue. You're getting twice as many sales for the same marketing dollar because you're asking for reviews and referrals. Bonus tip of the day, check out your competitors' conversion funnels. Look at their advertisements online, click into them. Do they have a landing page that matches the ad copy that got you to click? And then what's the conversion funnel look like? What's their call to action? What's the next step? How easy is it? How fluid is it? If you can just, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. If you can just take what's working out there in the world, make it work for your brand, that's gonna speed you ahead in your process of seeing results. So thanks for watching, I appreciate your time. Please share the video if you have somebody that you think this would make sense for. Follow us for more content like this in the future. We appreciate uh, your business and your time and happy marketing.